Welcome to the topic where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. Houston's growing economy relies on a strong infrastructure, and that infrastructure is built on talented workers who keep their skills sharp. HCC's Material Science program provides a pathways to those in-demand jobs, and Greg Tyndall joins us from the uh, material science program, but you're a pipe fitting instructor, correct? That is correct. Thanks for being here in the topic. And before we started uh, the interview here, we were talking about the pipe fitting industry and how there's a need for pipe fitters across the Houston area. I know several years ago, maybe last four or five years, HCC addressed um, the need in the community in the Stafford area because it seemed to be growing leaps and bounds. Is that the case across Houston now? Yeah, that is so true. The petrochemistry is uh, adding on to their, pro uh, their plant facilities, and besides the petrochemical industry, piping fabrication is utilized in various industries, nuclear power plants. Right. It's just a, a need for moving materials, liquids, you know, product, and fluid products. So. What's the job growth look like? And um, you hear a lot about the welding program, but you said this kind of ties into the welding program because you really want to be skilled in both, I guess, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, to weld, you have to put pipe together. Right. So that would call the need for the pipe fitting. It's a demand. There's uh, a lot of attrition taking place in the industry. People are retiring. So right. the need for that pipe fitter is there. So well, that's great potential in the Houston area. Ship channel. All, all across. I mean, we've got the Port of Houston right here. There's mm -hmm. a lot of construction going on. You look at the uh, industry demand, especially out in Pasadena, La Porte, all those growing plants that are out there. And somebody has to put these pipes together. I That's, guess, correct. Huh? That's correct. That's um, correct. For those wanting to take courses at HCC and they're thinking, you know, I'm kind of interested in welding. Maybe this pipe fitting thing is a good fit for me. What type of certifications do we offer and how long does it take to go through the programs? So we have continuing ed where a, a person will obtain a certification right. for his pipe fitter helper or pipe fitter. We also have that in the program, the academic program, uh, the pipe fitting class for a, a student who wants to you know, obtain uh, a degree right. in the welding. He'll also get that program, which uh, allows him to be a certified pipe fitter. And how long does that take? Is it a, could it be as short as maybe a month or a couple of months, and uh, two years? Or? The, the uh, helper programs, like six weeks. Uh, okay. So just like you said, it depends on what phase you want, uh, okay. the helper or the, you know, the certified pipe fitter. Do you find that a lot of your students are people who are already working out in the industry who are coming back for the extra certification so maybe they can make more? Yeah, the continuing ed uh, folks may be working as a helper and they want to get that pipe fitter certificate. Okay. And there's people that are working in the industry that it's not a pipe fitter, helper, or a pipe fitter. They want to get into that trade, so they'll start out as a helper to get the exposure on how to fabricate pipe, how to lay out pipe, how to read drawings and make the calculation for the pipe turns. Would that be a path that you would suggest if someone was looking to get into the industry? I mean, I know a lot of, um, a lot of kids, you know, I've got a 17 year old uh, that is looking in, in getting to an industry and he's expressed interest in welding. Would you suggest starting off as a helper and then moving up? Oh, sure, yeah, that, that's an uh, excellent path. He'll get exposure, so he'll be familiar with the terminology. Right. And same way with this person that may be on a job site now as a laborer, and he's, I want to be a pipe fitter. How to get there? Well, right. Take class, become a pipe fitter helper. You're already on the job site. Now you move from the labor to the pipe fitter helper, and then phase through to the journeyman pipe fitter. Earnings for this is, are are we looking at something that pays on an hourly, or or how does that work? It, it is an hourly. So uh, you can earn a, a lot of overtime. Oh I yeah, imagine, yeah, huh? yeah. Base pay is around forty-seven thousand to start. To start. Wow. So most places work a lot of overtime, so right. that's not calculating the overtime figure. So it's an easy 50000 a year uh, job, salary. Greg Tyndall, thanks for telling us more about the pipe fitting program. I appreciate it. We appreciate you being here. If you'd like to learn more, log on to hccs.edu slash material science. For the topic on HCC TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.